Howdy TPDDL fans and happy about Wednesday. Today we're going to be joined by Dr. Apple who's going to tell us what are some effects of freeze damage on trees. Everybody wants to know about freeze damage. And right now I can give one bit of advice about freeze damage. And that is that patience is a virtue. It's not a time to act at the moment because there are so many variables that come into play when we try to predict what's wrong with a tree or a woody ornamental when it's exposed to the type of temperatures that we experienced a couple weeks ago. For example, this little guy right here. The bark's a little thinner on a young tree as opposed to an older tree, and therefore we might expect to see some freeze cankers or something like this on a thin bark tree that we may not see on a larger tree. The temperatures before the event and the temperatures after the event have a lot to do with it. The nutritional value. Does the tree have diseases? Just all of these come into play when we're trying to predict what is wrong with a tree that has been exposed to those kinds of low temperatures. So for the time being, we're recommending everybody just sit tight, calm down a little bit, and let's give the trees a little bit of time to tell us what happened during that week. For the first time ever in the history of Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Lab Wet Wednesdays, we are going to get an added bonus video from Dr. Apple. We just can't get enough of his expertise. And let's talk about diagnostics for a minute. That's also going to be a challenge for a lot of us. These kinds of freeze events do lots of different things to the physiology of the tree. Not, we don't have time to go into all of them right now, but it can lead to some very unusual symptoms. For example, these symptoms I have right here in my hand. This is not oak will. People all the time see symptoms like this and say, well, what do you mean that looks just like oak will? This happened as a result of the freeze. We don't know why, but we're all going to have to keep open minds right now about what we're seeing in these trees uh, until we get a clearer picture of exactly how they've been affected. Thank you and see you next week.